my name's Amy and I'm an iFord representative. Today I'm going to show you how to correctly and safely operate the bandsaw. Now the bandsaw, as we can see here, is so named because the blade is a continuous loop of material. Um, the bandsaw can be used to cut a variety of materials, but here in the iForge, uh, we're only going to set it up to be cutting wood and plastics. The bandsaw can also cut straight lines or curved lines, which makes it a pretty versatile piece of equipment. So I'm going to give you a little overview of the machine. So the bandsaw blade is here. And this is the blade guide, which can be adjusted like this. Uh, and there you can see the blade. And when not in operation, we'll leave that down on the bed. We have our extractor fan here, which needs to be turned on when you're operating the machine in order to get rid of all the debris and dust that you're producing when cutting. Um, if we open up the bandsaw, we can see the wheel, which is turning um, in order to move the blade and cut your material, but you shouldn't need to open that up at any point. Um, on our bed here we have the fences. So this is one of the fences that can be adjusted and is very useful when you're trying to cut a parallel line um, to the edge of your material. We also have guides such as this, which can be put on an angle in order to cut angles with the bandsaw as you're pushing your material through. Um, you'll find next to or around your bandsaw push sticks to push your material through so that you're not getting your fingers near the blade when operating. Uh, now we have our pedal uh, which is used to turn the bandsaw on and off and also we have on and off switches on the side. Uh, now that's all the sort of parts of the bandsaw that you need to know about. There are a number of risks involved in operating the bandsaw. We have a sharp moving blade here, so you can easily get finger lacerations. Um, entrapment, where you get something loose caught in and then pulled into the machine. Or um, material flying out of the machine um, if you haven't got your blade guard down properly. So to avoid these risks, I'm going to show you how to safely operate the bandsaw. So number one, we need to be dressed correctly. Uh, we need eye protection, so these goggles, which you'll find on your entrance to the eye forge, and an overall or an apron to keep all your clothing um, contained. So, safe operation. We firstly need to make sure that our um, extractor fan is turned on. So, we'd press this button here, and a little green light would come on. I'm going to turn it off for now, because um, it's a little bit loud for our demonstration. Um, we would then adjust our, the height of our blade guide. So, for example, if I was cutting this piece of wood here, I would adjust it and make sure that it's no more than a centimetre above my material and tighten it there. Um, I would then um, be able to hold my foot down on the pedal after making sure my fences are in the position I want them in. And after you've pressed your foot on the pedal, you then can press the green button which will start the blade running. And when you want to stop it running, you simply need to lift your foot off the pedal. But just remember, it's pedal then button to start the blade running. When cutting, we need to make sure that our fingers are kept well away from the blade. So that's when we'd be using the push sticks to push any material that's close to the blade through. Also, we need to make sure that we're not damaging our blade. So if you feel it or hear it getting either hot or making a lot of noise, you may be pushing your material through too fast, which is called the feed rate. So if you're pushing it through too fast, you may hear some uncomfortable noises coming from the bandsaw. And if you can see smoke or excess heat coming from your material, um, it means that you might be feeding it through too slowly and there's friction building up heat there. Um, so those are some things to watch out for when operating the bandsaw. Some other useful things to know about the bandsaw. Um, first thing is that the bandsaw can cut radiuses. So with the current blade, the smallest radius it can cut is about 35 millimeters. So anything smaller than that, then use one of the scroll saws that we have in our iForge. 
if you are bending the blade and feeling a lot of resistance from it as you're trying to cut your radius, then just stop there and sort of remove your material because that's obviously uh, too small a radius to be cutting. Um, another little trick is if you want to be cutting chamfered edges on your material, you can actually adjust the angle of the bed. And that's done um, just under here. Um, but it's a little bit fiddly, so if that's something that you do want to do, then come and find one of us, the iForge reps, and we'll help you, help you sort that out. Um, now remember, when you're operating any of the equipment in the iForge, please don't hesitate to ask any questions, because that's what we're here for. If you're feeling unsure about the tiniest part of something, then just come and ask, whether it's us or a technician or someone that's fully trained on all these equipments. Um, thank you for listening and have fun using the bandsaw.